Hey scientists, grab those lab coats and goggles as today we start to explore the needs of plants and animals for their survival. Now let's talk about our essential question. Remember, essential questions in science and in different lessons can help us think about what we already know about a topic and it helps us connect to new ideas that we're going to learn today to help us produce a new, produce a new thought about the topic. Our essential questions will be focused on our different science topic, topics. So look for keywords. In those keywords, the minute you see them and recognize them, I want you to think, what do I already know about this topic? Once you have that in your mind, you want to look at the question again to see what we're trying to answer today or what are we trying to answer about that topic. It's important to remember that an essential question is like a goal as well. By the end of our science lesson, you should confidently be able to answer the essential question. Let's go over our essential question for today. The first essential question. Listen to me first. What are the basic needs of plants? Read that one with me. What are the basic needs of plants? And the second one. What are the basic needs of animals? Read that one with me. What are the basic needs of animals? Activity called ladder of survival, you will need a whiteboard and marker or a paper and a pencil. And you will first draw a ladder on your paper like the one you see on the screen here. We usually use ladders in life as we are climbing different things. For this activity, we are going to think about this ladder like it's the ladder of survival. So we need to think about if we are going to start climbing this ladder, what are some of the first things we need to survive? First, draw your ladders on your paper and then come back and play the video to see an example. Now let's look at examples of this. For our ladder, we need to think about what things do we need to survive. At the bottom of the ladder, we need to think of the basic things we need to survive. For example, the most basic thing I could think of that we need to survive is air. We must be able to breathe to do anything else. Let's add the word air to the first step on our ladder. Now that we added air as our base to our ladder and we took a step up, one step, we need to continue on thinking of things that we need to survive. Another thing I can think of that we need to survive is water. We could definitely add that to our ladder as well. Let's put that on there. Continue to work through the steps on the ladder, adding other items that we need to survive as humans. Remember, this is the ladder of survival. Work either in pairs or in small groups to come up with the list on your whiteboards. Then share out as a class to make a class the ladder of survival to say what you guys would need as a class to survive. Then come back to the video and I'll explain what you'll be doing in your lesson today. Let's look at the activity that you will be working on today. You don't have the materials now, so look up at the screen and your teacher will hand out the materials shortly. For the, acti for the activity today, we will be identifying needs of different items. So we are going to practice by first sorting objects and organisms into different categories. And then we'll look at completing a Venn diagram comparing some of the objects based on the categories that we made. I'll go through and explain how you will do this activity, and then you will have time to work through it together as a class. Let's look at the first part of this assignment together. You will be given a basic needs sorting sheet, which means you'll be given different items pictured here on the screen that you will have to sort into different categories. You'll be able to work with a partner or in a small group to do this. Think about the different items and the criteria that you use to sort the pictures. After you have time sorting the pictures into their two groups, you will share out the di different criteria for what made up your two groups. After you have time doing this, we'll move on to part two of the activity. After you've had time with your groups to identify two different categories, your teacher will give you an insight at what is the category, the golden secret categories that we were looking for. Once you find those out, you'll go into the next step of making your Venn diagram. Remember, a Venn diagram is a type of graphic organizer that helps us compare two different items, identifying its differences and similarities. As we compare these different items, we'll also be given some keywords to look out for. 
Some of those things might include food, shelter, air, water, sunlight, space, nutrients. These are all different items that you should think about when developing your criteria for sorting your items as it may give you a little clue at what the secret categories are that your teacher is looking for. After you have filled in your Venn diagrams and compared the two categories, you'll get time to talk as a class and talk more about those needs of the different organisms and specific items that you have identified for this project. If you need a refresher on filling out your Venn diagram, the screen explains it here. The two circles identify the two different categories each sign identifies facts that relate to the specific category, and the center of the circles that overlap relate to facts that have to do with both of the categories, meaning both of these facts could apply to both sides of the category. Now it's your turn, scientists, to get sorting and figure out the categories that you will identify for your Venn diagrams. Good luck, and I'll see you guys soon.